As you know, I've said I can't go with Trump alleging the judge's heritage is the cause of his alleged bias against Trump. One of the constant refrains from the left, though, to keep the focus off this judge has been the lawyer's group the judge belongs to is separate from the National Council of La Raza. Now, that is true, but they are connected, and I want to explain this. The judge belongs to the San Diego La Raza Lawyers Association, according to their webpage. They are one of 18 chapters of, now follow me, the La Raza Lawyers Association. That's the California State Association. Now let's go to their webpage. Under the link page is a link that takes you where? Say it with me, ladies and gentlemen. The National Council of La Raza's webpage. I don't know how it works in your world, but I do not put links to groups I don't support or have ideological consensus with on my webpage. So as I've said on, on the radio show, there is a link between the La Raza lawyers and the National Council of La Raza. Now, why is the National Council of La Raza so controversial? Well, they are a left-wing group uh, that has honored bigoted and hateful radicals. Let me introduce you to a man named Jose Angel Gutierrez. He is a professor in uh, the state in which I broadcast, Texas. Mr. Gutierrez is the founder of La Raza Unida. Jose is a racist. He has said, quote, we have an aging white America. They are dying. They are blanking in their pants with fear. I love it. He has also said, quote, we have to eliminate the gringo. And what I mean by that is if the worst comes to worst, we have got to kill him, end quote. One more gem for you. Our devil has pale skin and blue eyes. And you might be asking yourself, what's the connection between this racist, radical extremist, his La Raza Unida political group, and the National Council of La Raza? Well, Aside from the name, La Raza, which seems to appear in all of these groups, right? In 1994, Jose Angel Gutierrez received the National Council of La Raza's Hero Award. Somebody in the NCLA, the National Council of La Raza, thought his racist rants heroic. Now, I don't, I don't know about you. Maybe, maybe I'm crazy. I don't know about you. I don't give awards to people with whom I disagree. I certainly don't give awards to bigots. There are ideological connections and affiliations between all of these groups. Now, could this be justification for the removal of a judge who is part of these groups, at least one of them, for a conflict of interest in the Trump case? Now, I don't know. But it's certainly more valid and reasonable than floating the idea that the judge is unfair because he is of Mexican heritage.